What would you think if you heard the name Audi? Probably it should be this or this. Well, this is the logo of the brand and this one is the iconic Audi single frame grille. In fact, we recognize everything from human being to cars by its face. I mean by its complexion. Just like our eyes and nose and mouth, the design of grille, headlamps and the bumper are defining the physical appearance of a car. In order to keep brand identity or design DNA on every single model, most of the premium luxury brands came up with a trademark grille design. Audi's design is relatively new while some of others came up over hundreds of years ago. Everything gets started with an idea. You don't always have to have a particular reason for a design or technology breakthrough. The most dramatic changes on Audi's grille design started from 1999 to 2004. To explain this, if you look at the cars from 1920s to 50s, the cars are almost like this. And from 1950s to 70s, it should be like this. And from 1970s to 2000s, it's like changing from this to this. It is an industrial shift that changes will apply to every car. So from 1970s to 2000s, Audi used to have this single rectangular grille or something like this connected, especially like UR Quattro. The single frame grille design is directly evolved from that. Look at this front of the cars. It is so simple as it looks, but it would take time to figure out the idea of connecting these rectangles together. This design revolution is held under the design team which is led by chief designer Walter De Silva and the other leads designers like Satoshi Wada and Gary Talak. The first changes literally took place on the A6 2004 and then on the A4, A3 and the SUV Q series. Then, after Walter De Silva, Stephen C. Laff took over the design team and refined the grille design make it look and functional better. In 2013, at the New York Auto Show, the new chief designer of Audi, Wolfgang Ege, explained the single frame grille design. According to New York Times report, he shows the sketches of design evolution. He represents UR Quattro's attached grille as 70s and separated rectangular as 90s and then the single frame as 2000s. And that's how eventually a completed design evolved. Then for 2013, he said, in the cross line concept in Paris, we showed the next step. We keep the single frame but do the next step, the three-dimensional sculpture shape. Now the grille is fuller and attached to the frame of the car. This has functional advantage for meeting impact and pedestrian regulation. It also works for branding. The three dimension opens a world for us to distinguish the models. Then, from 2013 onwards, the three dimension attached design featured in Q series. In 2014, Mark Lecce became the chief designer of Audi. The current A series models are based on his 2014 prologue study. He is also responsible for the new e tron's design. But the changes on Q series is a little disappointing, I mean personally. He mentioned that it's time for new changes on single frame design. As a result, the Q8 featured an octagonal shaped grille which I'm not a fan of. So that's the evolution of single frame design. But there is an aerodynamic limitation for this design though. The grille is literally perfect for sedan, hatchback, wagon or SUV models. Every non-sport types of car should be front engine car. So in Audi, you can put a big radiator right in front of the engine. That's really obvious. But when it comes to high-speed super sports car, almost every model would be mid or rear engine car. That could help for better acceleration, stability or traction control, torque vectoring, or even for braking. In the case of Audi sports car, the R8 have a drag coefficient of 0.36 which is pretty much okay. The R8 is actually mid-engine car, so the front single frame grille makes no sense for the cooling of engines. The car had said intakes for that. And on top of that, it also have front, but you don't need radiators for your luggage. Thanks for watching.